That's not what I'd say. Is it going? Going. Are we rolling? Rolling, rolling, rolling. rolling, rolling. Alright, another episode of Quinter Review. With this guy. On it. Boop. 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 And that ain't no bowl. How many times are we going to copyright that? Too many times. Okay. Well, Nico is off camera and we'll ask you questions. And just put the box in the. And there's his arm. He is in human form right now. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be and why? <laughs> a tree? A tree. A tree. A thing with bark on it? Bark, bark. I would be a tree. A what? type? I would be a tree. A tree? What kind of tree? A tree. Fridge. Would you be like a palm tree? Would you be like a pine tree? Would you be like a little tree. sapling? Cow tree. cow tree. Cow tree. And a partridge and a cow tree. Well, that's not how it goes. No. Oh. Uh, I just speak up to. Okay, I love this one. Uh oh. What is your favorite memory involving furries? And you're new to the fandom, so what have you experienced so far that's traumatized you? That's the, <laughs> that's the second. That's the third question. What traumatized you? What the paper? What traumatized me? No. No. What's your favorite memory? Involving furries. What is your favorite so far, memory? Your best memory. Well, so far, um, hanging out with you guys, and also um, debuting. On it at Apache Junction, except for I twisted my ankle twice. Twice. <gasps> but you survived. Yep. And you had fun. Yep. Should we do that question? What traumatized? Has anything traumatized you with the furry fandom yet? Not yet. Have you stumbled across anything that made you squirm? Or have I done anything super cringy? Or no, not yet. Not yet. Super cringy? That's that's uh. <laughs> so okay, how you know, about this? Next? Like super cringy. What's the cringiest probably, thing I've done? Probably. Aside the only from, what's the cringiest thing you've seen me do? Probably the only thing. Try to I sing would... Christmas songs off key. <laughs> probably the one thing that. That's why would I don't do karaoke because I'm self-conscious because of turd nuggets like him. <laughs> Probably the one and thing. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> the All one right. thing that would probably make me cringe is if I watch Nico Bunny strip. I make anyone cringe. I mean, hi. <laughs> wow. Are you thinking of choosing? No, it's supposed to be. Yes, I am. I love you. He's stacking the deck. He's a deck stacker. I'm cheating. Um. Okay. Here's an easy one. Maz or Paz? So pause, and then Maz is like like Saturn's smile, like the mouth. You not know what that is yet? Maz. What? Maz. He says Maz. Maz. He's a Maz guy. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm kidding. I like both. I like pause, but I like the smile, so. How did you... It might be kind of the same. Um, how did you find the furry fandom? How I found the furry fandom? Yes. I actually ran into Saturn at the Tempe Library Con. And we talked and I got hooked. We got him. We converted him. <laughs> we got another one. I was out of suit too and you guys came out to I think it was out of the two other furs. Yeah. And these came up to them and you're like, furries! And then I was like, mental no. And then somehow I found you. And I was like, come join us. One of us. Well, one, one of us. us. One, one of us. One of us. <laughs> also, I wanted to create a character for my other line. Um, my Arizona Jack-O-Lantern line. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went in a room and then he like, yeah, told us the whole thing. Yeah. Which... You think I'm crazy with first two ideas? This guy. 
Okay, here we go. Last one, but really good one. Okay. Okay, it might be the most difficult one there is. What's your favorite color? What advice would you give someone just getting into the furry fandom? Ooh. I would say go for it. Have fun. And... Yeah. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Funniest. Have fun. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Have and fun, enjoy, be safe. Be don't safe, get caught. Yes. And make a Always new... Always wear your seatbelt. And make a new friend. Just do it. And give lots of hugs. Too late. Unless coronavirus is six feet apart. I don't care. I'm still giving hugs. Okay. That's all the ones I got for you. All right. Yay.